Welcome to a new episode of Resin Stories Unplugged. My name is Birke Hinz and today's episode is all about a new way of optimizing coding formulations for specific targets. But why are we meeting here at the top of a hill somewhere in the south of Ludwigshafen? This I will ask my colleague Wolfgang in a minute. Hi Wolfgang. Hello Birke. So what a great view. So and what has the spot to do with the topic of today's episode? You won't believe it. This is the highest mountain in Ludwigshafen. Okay, it's not Mount Everest, but it's the highest mountain here in Ludwigshafen. Do you know how I figured that out? I used a map. A map helps you to find a special place very fast. And this is what we and our customers are doing. We want to find the optimum formulation very fast. Therefore, we want to draw a map. And my personal experience is, if you do that in a systematic way, using design of experiment, that helps you to find the optimum faster. This map is a digital twin of a formulation and you can simulate what otherwise you would need many experiments in a lab. That's the big advantage. So the customer has to be expert in design of experiments to utilize the findings? No, that's not necessary. That's the good thing. We can plan together with the customer a design of experiment and we later on as BSF do the digital twin for you as a customer. Okay, then let's go back to the BSF lab and um, dig deeper into the matter. Let's do that. Birke Wolfgang, nice to have you here. Hi, Tunja, thank you. Tunja, you are Head of Technical Marketing for Resins at BASF. So what are the key challenges customers are facing today? In difficult times like nowadays, um, it's important to adjust formulations quickly to market demands like high resistance uh, properties or um, sustainability requirements or the day-to-day -day things like increasing prices or raw material shortages. And this is always to balance difficult properties with each other. Wolfgang, and how can your approach help on this? Tonja said that you need to adjust. And if you need to adjust, it's always good to have a map that you know what's happening with your formulation. So let me explain that with a small example. So usually you start with a set of experiments. Uh, my personal experience is that uh, you get the best results using design of experiment called DOE that you plan your experiments in a statistical relevant way. Then you do your experiments, you measure the results and then you try to simulate the results. This creates a digital twin which allows you to predict properties. Once you are able to predict, you can also apply an algorithm to find the optimum formulation. And what can I see now on this map? Here you see a kind of formulation with the properties on top. See here. The nice thing with this interface is that it's very intuitive. You can take the sliders and can adjust the properties and you see that the formulation components are moving. So if you change the requirements, you will yield different formulations. Mm -hmm. And when my customer has a target viscosity of 3 pascal seconds? Then you simply take the slider for viscosity to 3 pascal seconds. And then you only see formulations which have a predicted viscosity of 3 pascal seconds. Mm -hmm. This is a huge variety of different formulation components. May I exclude one or the other from the recipe? This is also very easy. Again, simply take the slider here on the right and put it to zero, then this component won't show up in the formulation. If I would like to include uh, sustainability requirements like C14 or product carbon footprint data into such type of simulation, is this possible? This is possible and it's very easy because you can calculate 
for example, the C14 content of a formulation because you know the C14 content of the individual components. Mm -hmm. It's a simple addition. And then you can introduce your C14 content mm -hmm. as an objective, for example, to have a minimum C14 content, and then the program only calculates formulation having that limit. Interesting. And uh, if this formulation is now ready, can I use it directly for a line trial? I would suggest you go to the lab first. Mm -hmm. This program gives you a prediction and you should always test that prediction if that is really the reality, if mm -hmm. this is the real outcome. Also, if you go to a line, you need to optimize your formulation using a deformer, using a labeling agent. Uh, that's not task of this tool. Mm -hmm. So then, thank you, Tunja and Wolfgang. Dear Coding Formulators, I hope we could give you some valuable insights on a new way of optimizing formulations for ambitious targets. The digital formulation twin is very interactive and easy to use. Try it by yourself and contact us for a demo. We look forward to hearing from you. BASF. We create chemistry.